one. Bonsoir guys, it's me here again, uh, just keeping you updated on how my progress is going. Um, I forgot to tell you all about uh, back in November about my invitations and how they went, so I'm just going to talk you through it here. First thing that I did is I actually collected some of the samples from people that I received over the, the last couple of years. This one was one that I actually got from uh, one of my sister's friends. It's a, a beautiful wedding invitation, as you can see here, a brown envelope, and it actually folds out to have the invitation in there. You have your details, and inside here then you have the card, which is all about you know the guest information, directions, and things like that. And down at the end, they have a lovely little uh, memento or little um, token poem you know, written at the end. So that was one of the types of invitations you could get. Another one that we received here was just this one here. It's beautiful, very simple. But what they've done is they personalized it there. That's actually a photograph of Steve's friends. Uh, it was uh, uh, a couple in England and we sent it over. And I thought that was really, really pretty as well. It was Ross and Lauren. We're actually going to their wedding there in March. And obviously again, it came with the uh, detail card there. Another one that I received was one from a friend of mine who got uh, married last Christmas. So it was just a one page invitation like this. Nice bit of detail done in there. She'd done little um, hearts there that cut out from there. And if I flip it over, you can just see it's got blue back there. Uh, another one that I received here was the card uh, type one. They have a lovely flower at the top there. You open it up, oopsie daisy. In there you have the details. They actually installed a gift list in there of what they wanted. So you could go online and log in for the gifts that they would want to receive for their wedding and again the information here now I thought I'd get a little creative with my own invitations so I actually went to work and I thought I can do all this myself on a computer it can't be that hard so what I actually came up with was this Elizabeth and Steve falling in love is easy staying in love is bloody hard work especially with the Colleen now for those people that know me I'm Elizabeth Colleen by the way they actually would find that humorous however we then began to realize not everybody knows me that personally and they may not find that funny. On the back, I had the details again, so we, we scrapped that. <laughs> and uh, we then kind of was running out of time, so I actually went on and I found this great website. It was vistaprint.ie, uh, V-I-S-T-A-P-R-I-N-T.ie, uh, and they do an unbelievable value on invitations. So what I actually got then was this one here. So it just has very simple detail there of like leaves with butterflies. It says the name goes printed in there. We bought a silver pen to write on the names. Your company is requested to celebrate the marriage of Elizabeth and Stephen and the, the details of the marriage there. And then on the back again, the same detail, but in black. Now also what came with that as well was the RSVP card, which you can see there again, it is you know keeping in the theme of the, the leaves with the butterflies and you have the details there. We also got with that as well the um, stickers that go on the RSVP return, so you don't have to write the invitations. And I forgot to bring it with me here, but I also have stickers that go on the back, the seals of the invitations. And then I just made up my own accommodation in information that goes with those as well. Um, invitations were very reasonably priced. I think we got the whole lot for like 70 invitations, envelopes, RSVPs, RSVP return envelopes, the stickers for the front and the stickers seals on the back that said Elizabeth and Steve 1st of April 2010 for I think it was about 120 euros. So that was one euro 20 each or sorry, a little bit more because it was 70, uh, there were 70 invitations we ordered. Um, and it was, you know, a really, really great deal. One piece of advice I would say is RSVP means absolutely nothing to most people. RSVP, my ass, to be perfectly honest, because half the invitations do not come back when you want to. We are now on the 3rd of February. My RSVP date was uh, the 14th of uh, January and uh, I'm still waiting on up to 20 more people to get back to let me know. And obviously that doesn't help when you're trying to get your table plan, seating arrangement, all that organized. So definitely give yourself enough time for the RSVPs to come back because the last thing you want is to be down on numbers or over numbers and not know where you're going. So that's a, that's a tip to remember.